Today I'm going to take you through the basics of instances. You can think of instances like the server version of a saved game. Each instance can be a different game or mod pack, or the same if that floats your boat, and you can switch between any of your instances at any time. Want to play Minecraft? No problem. Want to play Rust? No problem. Want to play Gmod? You and I might have some personal problems, but hey, no problem. So to first create an instance, you'll just need to find an empty instance slot on your dashboard. I have a lot of instances, I know. So the first thing you're going to do is pick which game you want. We got some options, I know, take your time. So from here you can pick a name for your instance, though this is just the name of your instance and not necessarily the name of your server. Also pick something appropriate because I can see it, okay? Then you can choose your location on this cute little map, or have it detect the location closest to you. Ain't that spooky. After that, you can choose the version of your game or the mod pack that you want. We got, uh, we got a lot of options. It's a little, little overwhelming. I'm just gonna go with vanilla. Once you click create, it might take a minute or two to get your instance all set up, but then it can be deployed. Congrats on your first instance. But now you're bored of that game, aren't you? Yeah, I know. So it's time to make a new one. Slow down there, though. Before you create a new instance, be sure to archive your current one. To do that, just hover over your instance from your dashboard and click Archive. Once that's finished, you can create a new instance and deploy it using the same method. When you archive an instance, you can create a backup of your server files. Just make sure to keep that box checked. Or if you don't want to make a backup, that's fine. No one's making you. Do what you want. When your instance is archived, you can edit the location or the name. Changing the location will change your IP address though, so keep that in mind. There's also a very scary red button at the bottom to destroy the instance. Be careful with that one though, because once it's destroyed, you can't get it back. So remember, if you want to switch an instance, just be sure to archive your current instance before you try to deploy another. But them's the basics, now you're an instance pro. There's also a scary red button at the bottom to destroy the engine. But be careful with that one because once it's destroyed, destroyed, <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> I'm dying. So from here you can pick it. Okay, I have to sneeze. Hang on. Uh, it went away. Never mind. Server. Server. Server server server